Hello guys, brothers, sisters, supporters, how we doing? It's Beck. I am making a video sooner than anticipated. I told you guys I wanted to make my next video on introducing my girlfriend to you, but I do belong to an FTM discussion group on Facebook, and there was a guy in there who had some questions on how to administer an IM injection. So I figured I would make this video in efforts to help him out and anyone else who could gain knowledge from this video. Um, my tea injections are done every Monday and I alternate between thighs. There are other places to do your injections but I choose my thighs because uh, in my opinion it's more controlled. I am comfortable because I can sit and I can have control and see what's going on. Um, and I was also taught by my nurse practitioner how to give an IM injection in my thigh. I was showed once and then by choice I took it upon myself from the second injection all the way until now uh, to administer my own and I've been doing so for the past 17 months. Um, I will not get into doses. I get asked sometimes what is your dose and I'm sure a lot of you whether you're FTM or M to F get asked what your dose is. Some of you choose to disclose what your dose is, maybe to your friends, maybe to strangers, but um, I don't feel the need to share what my dose is, and I'll explain why. There are a lot of guys um, that self-medicate. I understand why they do it, because they don't have a lot of resources, and they get it, and it is unethical, it's illegal, um, and I don't think that it's cool to answer what someone's dose is because all I feel like someone is doing is looking at the characteristics and comparing one to another and then perhaps self-medicating a particular dose based on the way a certain guy looked and oh he looks cool I'll take this and then I'm gonna look like him and I just um, I just feel like it's an inappropriate question and so I will just let you know that my shots are done weekly and I won't go into dose. I hope you understand exactly why I feel that that is not necessary. Um, so without further ado, step number one, you want to make sure that you have all of your supplies ready to go. All right, so let's make sure we have everything. Since the very beginning, I have kept all of my supplies in a small box. I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, got it at Target, I think. It's a three drawer box and in the bottom drawer I will keep my testosterone. I will also keep my alcohol prep pads, a very small memo pad so I can keep track of the date if I want to write down any changes and I also make sure that I write L or R just to keep track of the thigh that I am injecting in so I can ensure that I am alternating and of course a pen. In the second drawer I have my 22 and a half gauge needles which I use for injecting and in the top drawer it is the 18 and a half syringe with the needle already on it uh, for drawing so there you have the box and then I always keep a napkin versus a band-aid. When I first started doing my injections I didn't have a lot of leg hair so I would just get my favorite band-aid Batman or what have you and uh, just slap it on there. Now that I have grown a significant amount of leg hair I don't really like putting on band-aids because taking them off I'm a huge baby and it's like giving me a wax job so um, the little bit of blood that is there from the injection just apply pressure for a second and no need for a band-aid and then of course the sharps container to empty out everything contaminated so there you have it I have all my supplies what's next step number two making sure that you sterilize your hands alright guys so I wash my hands Hi, baby. Hey, hi, Daddy. What you doing? Um, I'm actually going to do a tee shot, and you've sat next to me on multiple occasions for this. Are you here for my support? Are you going to be my support system? 
Oh, brother. All right, guys, so here we go. I have my testosterone sipping aid. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take a alcohol prep pad and sterilize the top of the bottle. All right, just like that. Set that aside. Grab the 18 and a half drawing syringe. What I do is I like to just push the bottom of the syringe all the way up, take the cover off, put the syringe in. If I see it bubbling up, I'll just give it a quick shake and then I'll draw out my dose. Be patient guys. It is a thick serum, so it may take a minute. What I do is I oftentimes draw out a little bit more than I need. Put the cap back on. And then I'll grab the 22 and a half injection needle. Now the reason as to why I drew out a little bit more than I needed, swap these out, put the 22 and a half on, make sure it's nice and tight. And then I go ahead and push the bottom of the the plunger upwards right to my dose getting rid of what I drew out that was in excess so that I could ensure that this didn't have any air give it a good flick no bubbles we're good to go okay so I already put in my memo pad the day's date and that it was my right leg this week What's next is sterilizing my leg, another alcohol prep pad, and just kind of run it over your entire thigh, and then just let it dry. Shouldn't take too long, about a minute. I just realized that my shirt says, this blows. But it really doesn't blow, guys. <laughs> We're going to get through this together. Normally, I would play a song that I really like, and the goal is just to get the injection over with by the time my song is over. But um, I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm doing, so I'm not going to do that. And I hope that the lighting is adequate for you to be able to see me. If not, I apologize. But... Um, just relax, relax your leg. What I like to do is lean and put all of my body weight on the left side if I'm going to give an ejection on the right and vice versa. This way I can just release all the tension from this leg, get it nice and soft, no tension. I flex my muscle once just so that I can see it. And then what you want to do is you want to grab, take a hold, of the muscle and don't be afraid to do a very light jab. Now for bigger guys you're gonna want to get more of the needle inside. For smaller guys like me you do not need to stick the needle all the way in. Take a deep breath. Grab on to your muscle. Do a quick jab and push half in. Once you see that it's halfway in let go of your leg muscles so that you are not nervous. And then what you want to do is you want to pull back on the plunger 
Look in the lower chamber and see if you see any blood kicking back. If you don't, you're in a good spot. If you do, take it out straight and go ahead and sterilize the area again. Swap needles and just do it over. I already aspirated, which is pulling back on the plunger. I don't see any blood. So now I'm just going to push in the medication. Once the medication is in, take it straight out. Be sure to recap. Give it a second. We'll see if there's any blood at all on that shot. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. As you can see, there's a little bit. And we're done, guys. Put everything contaminated in your sharps container. We did it together. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you guys have any questions for me whatsoever, feel free to inbox me and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. If you want to find me on Facebook, I have two pages. One is my personal page and the other one is my public figure in which you are more than welcome to like the page. Become a fan of uh, Binder Boys, which I do run, guys. I hold contests once a month to give away a brand new binder from FTM Underworks, which I have partnered up with. The next contest is August the 15th. Take care, guys. I love you lots, and I hope you learned something from this video. Take care.